So it's Wednesday and the plumber was here and uh, fixed the fixed the toilet and uh, roto rooted the um, the the drain. But uh, it's a good thing he came this morning because now we've got a snowstorm on. So yeah, April in Manitoba. <laughs> April Fools. Mother Nature's a trickster. It uh, was raining earlier, uh, earlier this evening, or yesterday evening, and uh, it's turned to snow, and lots of it. So, one more uh, attempt at uh, winter, I guess. Oh well, that's Manitoba for you. You never know. Okay, I figured today would do something a little different. It's going to be a one-handed unboxing. <laughs> figured I'd get a box unpacked. I've got so many things to unpack. But, uh, see if you can guess what that is. That is Red Wing. Believe it or not. Uh, Red Wing USA. And that's the price another dealer had on it, but she was having a uh, blowout sale, and I think everything was a buck. So for a buck, I couldn't pass up uh, Red Wing. Anyway, still intact, I think. Paper will go on the floor, seeing as I can't uh, unwrap and unfold here. An enameled uh, fondue pot. Uh, Mid-century modern stuff. There we go. Is that focusing? No, of course not. Ooh. There we go. Anyway, uh, what else we got? Ah, a couple folk art pictures. Thought I left these behind, but I guess I didn't. That's good. Scottish Thistle and the Blue Bell of Scotland. Okay. Hang those up somewhere. And what else? Ooh, mallet. Have a primitive mallet. What else? Um, I think these are just uh, replacement elements for ranges and stuff. Not sure how they got in there, but. And the book end. I think I've only got one of those, so. And it looks like a. Oh, okay, of course I can't unpack this one here. There we go. NW mug. Ooh. Help if my fingers were out of the way, wouldn't it? Okay. Uh, see what else we got. And in the bottom, these are stands for, um, or holders for those uh, carbon tetrachloride teardrop fire extinguishers. Come out. Ah, okay, maybe they can't come out right now. And we got an in the package referee whistle. Not sure where I picked that up, somewhere on one of my picks, I guess. And uh, a stamp. Not sure why I've got that in there, but I got a bread knife by Kloss. Right there, that's kind of funky. Kind of dangerous and wicked, too. But. Uh, Anyway, let's see. And a piece of spode, a spode plate. What else? We got? I think we got another spode plate. 
I need a holder. Oh yeah, Spode uh, barbecue. I call it. Let's see what else we got. Another holder. A trivet. This is off a wood stove. It's a tea trivet, they call them. They flip down to hold your teapot above, uh, kind of on the back and just above the elements. Or not the elements, but the uh, the top range. Um, what else? And something else that requires two hand sun wrap. Acro agate moss. That's what that is. I don't know if it's marked or not. Oh yeah, it's marked. See the little uh, that little image in the middle is supposed to be a crow with a marble in its mouth. So anyway, that's Acro agate is the company that made that. And they made marbles and uh, various decorative wares. Ooh. Anyway, that's it for that box. So what I'm going to do is put it all away and then come back and undo, or undo, unpack another box. Okay, we had a, another box in between this one and the last one, but uh, the uh, freaking camera shut off halfway and... Just it didn't turn out so. Anyway, here we go again. It's a Royal Alexandra coaster. That was from the CPR Hotel in Winnipeg. And we have a set of web glassware. I've only got one here. There must be more in the box somewhere. Somewhere. More tacky. Yep. And what else? Thompson, Manitoba. Neat pillowcase. Check that out. It's cool. Always like these things. They don't sell terribly quick, but they're cool. Uranium City, Saskatchewan. It's a big horn sheep. It's cool. Okay, that's it for that side. Turn it around, and this is. Can you guess what it is before I pull it out? Not the book. The book is just a uh, English. English to something dictionary. English to German. But this is a piece of Beswick. Right there. Ooh. And of course, there we go. Oh, a nice piece of Beswick. If you're into Beswick. And this will be more of those glasses. Yeah, that's what they are. More of uh or these, so a set of four of these. Kind of got a mid-century look to them, don't they? Anyway, so that's it for that box. We'll try another one. Here we go, last one of the day, I think. I don't think there's much in here, but... Uh, nice braided rag rug. I like your country primitives and stuff. Not a bad rug. And I got a pair of shin pads. Oh, and another braided drag rug. Oh, oh two braided rag rugs. It's still kind of bright. Oh, it's all kind of browns and stuff. that's it for now. 
got a couple rugs out and uh, find some places to put some stuff here. All right. Let me know if you're interested in unboxing videos at all. I'll do uh, a lot of my unboxing on video if you really want. If you're entertained by it. Um, who knows? It'll maybe get me uh, working a little harder and uh, start getting more stuff out. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you're thinking. Leave me a comment down below. And uh, let me know if you're entertained at all or just bored silly, one or the other. All right. Take care. Happy picking. Safe picking. Got another one for the contest. And it's a shoehorn. Woo! Actually, it's not just any shoehorn. It's from the Fuller Brush Company. Uh, if you can read it there. They were given away by Fuller Brush Salesman, the door-to-door -door salesman, uh, as a reminder to buy their product. And uh, they made all kinds of uh, letter openers and uh, shoehorns. You could have a whole collection of every color of the rainbow shoehorns and letter openers and uh, various uh, trinkets that uh, were given away. They make a cool and cheap collection. So anyway, you're getting the start of your collection of full of brush items. All right, and uh, my previous contest video, I said there was 40 or 50 dollars worth. I got adding things up, and there's already 95 dollars worth. So with the shoehorn at four or five bucks, you're looking at a hundred dollars value already in that little uh, cigar box, the treasure box. So you want to uh, check out the videos, make sure you've got a list of all the items in that box in order to win. Alright, take care, happy picking, safe picking.